Hi Scorpio, it is Elle here to do your one card reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into it, Scorpio. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. So when I was shuffling off camera for you, Scorpio, I heard Molek. So I'm about to look that up. I was going to tell you to look it up, but I'm pretty sure you're not. So I'll look it up. <laughs> no, I'm just talking. Um, the one card I got for you, uh, Scorpio, is um, the Knight of Wands. Okay. Uh, this camera's not focusing. Come on, focus, please. Oh, the writing's too small. I don't know. Uh, it's the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands has really good quality to, you know, to oneself, to itself. Then it also has, of course, you know, you know, when you hear the Knight of Wands, you've got the negative qualities also. Hold on one second. Molek. Okay, Moloch has been understood as referring to a Canaanite god. However, since 1935, scholars have debated whether or not the term refers to a type of sacrifice on the basis of a similar term, also spelled MLK, which means sacrifice in the Punic language. Whoa, let me tell you why it's whoa here, because Okay, um, so this talks about sacrifice. Now, this could be sacrifice of anything. It could be like, a, you know, in yesteryear, they used to sacrifice, you know, uh, animals, uh, chickens, goats, this, that, and the third. But it could be sacrifice to some um, god. It's a Canaanite god, uh, Moloch. But then look at this guy. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Moloch, the devil, accepts child sacrifice. What's going on here, Scorpio? What are y'all doing? Who's doing what? The devil sometimes can be indicative of industry, you know, uh, entertainment industry, because the devil is about fun, playfulness, um, eat, drink, be merry, indulge the senses, the five senses, you know? So I don't know if you guys are into some type of devil worship or you know someone who is, or you're into, I'm hearing like uh, hoodoo, voodoo, um, there, where there's sacrifice to be made or, or you're into that. There's no, um, there's no condemnation over here. There is no me looking down on you and or anything like that. There's no, um, none of that. Uh, be careful in everything that you do. Know what you're doing. Know who you're doing it for. Uh, I don't know if this is good. You know, with the Knight of Wands coming out, and then the Sun card also talks about child or children. This talks about child sacrifice. Moloch came out. Moloch uh, also talks about sacrifice. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, also, something about maybe. Um, Sacrificing, I'm hearing like sacrificing time with your children, or maybe you don't know who has your children, who your children are around. Um, some a child could feel like they are being sacrificed, you know, because maybe parent or parental care is not stringent, it's not tight, it's not stern, it's lax. Somebody's leaving their child with um, more than one vetted individual, so you may have nannies. Or you make yeah babysitters or something of that nature so it's something about um needing to vet the people that you're around the knight of wands is the charismatic fun um person maybe uh, attractive you know um this could even be like uh somebody dealing with underage children too this could be like maybe a young adult or a teenager dealing with young children i don't know why these readers are coming out like this today uh watch who your child children are around okay because so, some of you are very busy you're the budding entrepreneur 
and your time is appointed for or you have to be at certain place certain time and you're kind of pawning the children off or the child off with some of you have sacrificed something to be in the industry uh, entertainment industry you sacrifice something I don't know I'm not gonna get into what it is or you're making some sacrifice to be a part of that industry you could be sacrificing something to the God that you serve so that you can be you know relevant famous uh, get the contract the deal that you want in said industry That's so funny. Okay, look at this. The two of swords is a, you're supposed to be a one card reading. And the two two of swords is at the bottom of the deck. And it says sends soldiers to appointed places. I didn't even look at this and I just said appointed. So some of you just like in, in appointed places. It's like behind your back with the two of swords, you you don't know what's going on or you buried your head in the sand or you don't want to see what's going on. You don't want to make the decision or you'll come back to it or you're being indecisive about uh, cutting somebody off or cutting them out or just seeing something here. It could be with a man, male figure, cutting something off. Somebody, if it's not like, you know, someone doing something sexual with a child or it's like uh, abuse, you know, this is somebody putting their hands on somebody, you know. Oh, my right ear started itching shit with the king of pentacles at the bottom of the of this deck now. This is somebody, I heard like corporal punishment. This is somebody who beats children or, or beats, uh, yeah, beating somebody, putting physical harm. Uh, it's a lot of cards of childishness, immaturity. Okay, so uh, I, I heard like someone's trying to beat the immaturity out of somebody or, oh, no. Beat the retardation out of somebody. I don't want to do this no more. Um, yeah, I'm done, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, all links are below if you need to get your own personal reading take care we were meant to create sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually mentally emotionally or even physically and this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations if you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.